Hello everybody and welcome back to competitive multiplayer. We're just heading back to the yard with the Ursus and the trailer. On the back of here we have the weight or, or the bale pusher and some seed. The plan today is to get the corn harvested and also put through the dryer. Yeah, we have the crop growth set to slow but that is actually still fast uh, because that field has grown in just two episodes and the other field which we only started planting in the previous video, well as you've just seen, has <laughs> completed, Help Array has completed this task, just finished planting it. Uh, we didn't manage to finish off before the night time which is unfortunate because it means that the vast majority of that field has actually half grown and um, yeah some of it has just been just been done so it looks a bit weird but it's fine it'll all catch up yeah I do wish there was a super slow growth because slow is not what I would consider it <laughs> that slow anyway yeah we'll just put that there we need to get the combine harvester uh, we also need to get a trailer or two trailers uh, one for carting the corn from the field to the dryer and the other one to cart from the dryer to the sell point. I'm hoping the price is good. Let's just take a look. The price for dried corn is currently 1502 and the price for just corn is 1355. So it is better, but it's not quite as good as as I'd hope and it is it's on the way down, although this one here is on the way up. Still it is, uh, it's not too bad. I was just wondering why that was rattling still. The engine's off. <laughs> um, interesting. Anyway, into the combine. I do own a header. I own the corn header, so that's good. Means we don't have to do any more renting. Uh, the corn header is just there. So, yeah, I'm just going to sort a few things out off screen because I think I have left my trailer somewhere. And I don't know where. All sorted. Yeah, surprisingly I left it in the field. I would never have thought to look there. Right, so we need to get that onto the back of the combine. Uh, we'll get the tractor onto the trailer, the Volan trailer, and we will head off. Okay, so here we are at the field. Uh, there's not really anywhere to turn around, so we're just going to have to drive in the crop, which is unfortunate. Yeah, so I'm just going to make a, a good clearing so there is space to bring the tractor and trailer in. And then we are going to be able to start unloading the combine into the trailer, bringing it back to the yard and getting it drying. Thankfully, I have already paid for the, uh, the propane, which is the fuel used in the drying process. It's always satisfying seeing those things unfold. Uh, and yeah, let's get that thing started up. Need to mine that header trailer. I'm taking it with me, aren't I? Yeah, it's a very tight field. Probably better for grassland, this field. But anyway, it's got a crop in it now. We'll have to harvest it. really did get this uh, planted right to the edges. Maybe it would be better to bring the smaller trailer up here, because I think that Roland trailer is going to have a few issues getting through the gate, and it means we can actually keep more over at the dryer. We can, we can fill it up from several loads of the smaller trailer. Very low trees too, these could have been trimmed. I should have done that. Wow. <laughs> okay, so it's filling up at a fairly decent rate. Looks like it'll probably be about two headlands before we're full. Which is exactly what I'd be looking for anyway. Because if I'm spending my time doing the carting and the drying, we do need to have a worker in this field doing the harvesting. Yeah, I'm sure that's already made quite a nice clearing. I tend to just do three laps anyway. Uh, I think two is probably okay. 
uh, but you just don't always guarantee that the worker is going to be able to continue. It tends to get stuck, so three times is always good. Turn those beacons off. That's a good combine. I didn't even think of the straw. Luckily, it's defaulted to having on the swath mode. That would have been wasteful. Because, yeah, using straw me, the corn is worth... Well, the corn stalks is worth a lot of money. Right, okay, so let's just keep going until we're full. And then we'll go and grab trailer. I suppose, actually, the trailer could stay on the road. It's a very quiet country lane. Chainsaw might be using it. Hmm, there's a chance. I can't block it if he is going to be using it. I'll keep an eye out. I'll see if he does go past. Good timing, 92% full. Uh, so yeah, I think forget about parking on the road. If a worker is going, we'll just be able to unload it straight from the combine in the field, and then we'll head back to the yard again. Right, good. That, that is really good. We have harvested pretty much everything that we need to. Don't think we're going to get back to the end here, but yeah, it's fine. The auger is on the correct side as well. We'll put the auger out. And we will get the rolling trailer. If only we had two. <laughs> you can dream. Uh, I, I probably could afford it, possibly, but I'm not going to spend the money on two trailers. Since we have two already. Okay. So, uh, the Matty Ferguson is probably going to be better suited to the, the rolling trailer. We'll put the John Deere on the smaller trailer. Put this over here for now. I think the smaller trailer is still over at the other yard, the shared yard. But the rolling should be just around the corner. Did I put it around here? Nope. There it is. back in there. So, uh, oh, still got the John Deere's weight on. Well, we're not going to be lifting anything, so it's not going to be needed. We'll just keep it attached for now. The good thing about this trailer is it does have the steering rear axle. And I think that is the reason why we were having issues with the bell trailer. I so don't think that has the steering, steering rear axle. That's a bit of a mouthful. Even if it isn't a mouthful, I can make it one. Chainsaws, crops. Looking very green. Now we have this nice drive past the chicken farm. It's a very tight corner, this. Although, having said that, the combine didn't have any issues with it. Yeah, again, I don't know if Chainsaw's going to be buying this chicken farm. I have suggested it several times, but he hasn't bought it yet. Maybe he doesn't have the money, because I think it is quite expensive. He'll probably have to sell some existing land. And here we are, ready to take the first trailer load. I forget, is one combine load more than the full trailer? No, it isn't, is it? I think the trailer's 32,000 litres. So we can at least finish this off. And then we can set it off on a worker. And it really shouldn't take too long, because it's a big combine, it's not a very big field. And then we can focus fully on the actual 
drying process. It would be good to get everything dried and sold today. It's dependent on the price really. Because there's no point selling it at a worse price than what we could get. And I doubt the prices are changing very much. No, they're getting worse. Oh no, that no no, that one's coming up. That one's plummeted. And that one's coming up very nicely. Yeah, we'll just tidy this up. And then just set it off. The worker to begin with will make a bit of a mess probably, but it will soon sort itself out. Put that straw there. Good. Yep, so we're going to have to bring a baler back over here. I doubt it will be today. 50%. 18,000 litres. Yeah, so we probably will be bringing after all the smaller trailer to the field. Let's just go and get it tipped, we can start the drying, uh, but I will bring the other trailer up almost straight away. field. So it's not filled up too much. You would have probably noticed in the time lapse that the trailer did have issues tipping. I didn't realise it was so low. It looks like it's designed for side tipping trailers. Uh, so we are going to have to go for a side tipping trailer if we're going to do this quite a bit. But I can just make do with using this trailer for now. Anyway, let's see if we have enough to fill this one. It won't take much to fill it. Although, yeah, it's not got much in it at all. We'll take a close look at the dryer in just a minute. I love how you can see all the steam coming off it. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll study that in closer detail when we tip this load. Oh, it's looking good. 61%. Well, no point heading back with that amount in the trailer. We'll make sure it's full. So we will tab back. There we go, look. Yeah, so you can see we've got the corn actually in the dryer. It's about half full. It's drying it. Now that's why there's steam coming off it. And then we must go underneath this pipe, I'm guessing, to fill it up, fill, fill the trailer up, so that we can sell it. Now, what do we have here? Dried corn, 2,200 litres. Propane is 99% and corn is 50%. So it looks like then the capacity of this whole setup is exactly the same as the Roland trailer. Uh, yeah, looks like it is about the same amount. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 35,000 litres. Okay, uh, right, so I do need to position this underneath. We could just reverse up to there instead of driving through. We're not desperate to take it out yet, but we don't want it to fill up. I'll just make sure it all works first. Brilliant. Look at that. I've pulled over to one side so that we can just drive through, but there's not going to be many loads. In fact, it's going to be this one and one more. So I think when the combine is back on the far side, I'll unload again. At least it gives us time um, to get the best price. So allowing the price to really increase. 1500 now, and still going up. 
Somehow, I think the timing has been spot on. Yes, we shall wait here. I am very pleased that I didn't get rid of the trailer. Because at one stage, I had this at the store. And I was going to sell it, but then realised there wasn't really much money in it. It was worth more to us. And this just goes to prove that it was worth more to us. Yes, I always forget how massive the Combine's auger is. It needs to be way over here. Ooh, too slow. Well, it's 99%. There we go. 100%. Not that we really needed to fill it 100%, because the next trailer is going to be about 30% full. Anyway, plenty of straw. Let's see how this trailer performs when tipping. Where's Chainsaw? Uh, he is in fill number four. Yeah, it's interesting that when you have another player on a different farm, their worker notifications come through on your screen. So, yeah, say I'm farm one, farm two's uh, notifications come up on my screens if it's my worker. So it's a little bit confusing. Basically, worker A is chainsaws and worker B is mine. Still going. Yeah, I think if we were to increase the rate of time, then it would get it done really quickly. But on this series, we are sticking to times five. Just to keep it fair for everybody. Yeah, so that's going to go through the roof. Uh, it's actually worse because it only just starts to tip when it's pretty much at the top. We could use a bucket. We could just tip it in a pile and use a bucket and transfer it. That's not too bad. Oh, that's fine. That's brilliant. Okay, yeah, I was just too far in. Should have been uh, in the same position as the Roland. So, yeah, we've just got a small amount left in the field. That is pretty much full. Let's just see if we've got any information. Where was I stood? Over here. Propane, 99%. 2,400 litres of dried corn and 92% of corn actually in the dryer. I love this mod. It's actually, uh, it's been around since FS15 at least. It's nice now that it's a placeable though. So you can put it anywhere you want. Okay, well I'll just finish off here. Oh, well I'll finish off what there is. A very small amount. Which actually means I don't even need to bring a trader up. I could just take the combine back. It's going to be around 5,000 litres. But that would actually be around 9,000 pounds or something. I've not done the calculation, but it, it would be quite good. It just means we're going to have to drive back with the combine unfolded, but that's not a huge issue. Providing we don't hit a tree. Shouldn't be done really, but since it's FS we, we can do. Okay, let's just see how this goes. We'll come back for the trailer. Good start. There is a fence post down there. And there is a fence post behind me too. It's funny that it wasn't too bad getting in. There we go. And here we are back in our field. So we get the auger out, we put it over the trailer. Probably could just unload straight from the combine into the dryer, but I won't do that. And 
and um, yeah that actually concludes the corn until it is time to sell it I really don't know how long it's going to take we'll fold the combine up and get that backed into there uh, it looks like the level is going down at a fairly decent rate so maybe an hour or two in game time I think there is quite a bit of money in these different placeables, these production placeables. I do like them. I'm going to be doing some on Survival Challenge. I don't know how many. And I really do mean the production placeables, not the placeables that just generate money for doing nothing. They have their advantages, but not... You don't want to do it all the time. Okay, so that's full. Wait, how much is that? 97 litres. Let's get it into there. Wow, that, that was so close to empty. <laughs> Good. So now all we have to do is position the Roland trailer under the pipe and then we can just fill it up whenever we feel like it. Although, I think it's all going to fit in one go, in one trailer load. It's just going to be one massive lump sum of income. 5,000 litres. Good, well, there we go. Corn drying. Nice and easy. I might have bought too much propane. Yes, it's still 99%. Anyway, it's there for the future. I've just discovered that productivity is 4,000 litres per hour, so it's going to be seven, seven and a half hours until it's actually got through it all. But that is not a huge issue. Just it's the price. The price is the issue, and it is good. So if it starts to go down, which I doubt in that time frame, we'll just get it sold what we've got. But since it is still going up, that is a good sign. It's now pretty much sixteen hundred, and no, it won't all fit into that trailer. Right. So since we have time, uh, we will start the bailing. We might as well. No point in sitting around. And we have the nice auto stacker, which is going to be very useful. We'll be able to make a fortune from the bales as well. Now the baler is still in the cornfield. Because that's where I left it. In fact, the, the planter is still there too. So both of them need to move. Starting with the baler. Uh, we'll take it down the southern road. Hopefully we'll be able to see chainsaw. Let's just see where chainsaw is. Yes, he's in film before, so we're going straight past him. Should get a good view of what he's up to. I'm not actually too sure what he is doing, probably harvesting. And if you're interested in seeing Chainsaw's video, the link, as usual, is down below in the description. There's my baler, right on the edge. And there's the progress of this field, looking good. It will need to have some fertilizer. And actually, I don't think the field which we just harvested was fully fertilised. I think it was 50%. So I know it could have been better. But it, we just wanted to get it done quickly. And once it's fully grown, you can't fertilise it anyway. So I had missed the opportunity. I just passed him. I wasn't recording. He went past with the voucher and the trailer. It looks like he's bailing canola straw. He's going to be making a fortune. Much more than me. And here we are back at our field. There is still some straw in the baler. It's not classed as the same material, the same product. So the first bale is going to be just a standard cereal crop bale, wheat or something. And then all the ones after that will be corn stalks. There we go. 
Yeah, so it's not a big field. It's going to be a nice, easy job. And then I think we probably will have time to bring the auto stacker over here too. We can get it all sold. I'm hoping to sell a full trailer of dried corn as well, but it all comes down to what time it is. It's looking promising. So, yeah, fingers crossed that we'll be able to do that. If we can, then I think our bank account balance is going to be very different by the end of this episode. off the bailing. As usual, it's all gone very well. There's not really much that can go wrong though in this game. Okay, unless of course my baler suddenly uh, throws bales into the air. It's happened before where a bale gets jammed and it goes flying. Anyway, yes, we will head back. We will swap this for the auto stacker. I probably should check actually uh, at the dryer and see exactly how much has been dried. I don't think there's going to be enough for a trailer load yet, but it's worth checking. Oh, and the field can have this. There you go, field. It's a decent amount of bales. Probably two or two stacker loads. One and a half. Something like that. I noticed I still have a windrower up in the top shed. So I mustn't forget that. Next time I need a windrower, I need to make sure I get it instead of thinking, hmm, I haven't got a windrow, let's go and buy one. We don't need to go to that expense. Don't think it's leased. Pretty sure I do own it. Uh, right, so we'll put this away in that shed behind us. do and it should be around the corner this stacker there it is and then we'll tap to the John Deere and we'll fill the trailer right uh, so that is looking like it's about three quarters full the dryer it's nice that you can see through it because it's perforated We have another 7,000 litres, which won't fill it, but it's a step in the right direction. 44%. Good, okay, uh, so we will continue. We'll make some money from these bales, quite a bit of money. The current price for corn stalks is uh, 896, I think that's corn. Well, if it isn't, we'll soon find out. Not bad at all. I have just done a quick count and I think we have 15 bales left. So that's almost a full load. And of course I might have missed one, so there might be 16. 
impressive. We will get the, the next load next time. Because I do want to sell the corn that we have today. Oh, it's so tight through here. Yeah, we'll just sell what we've got. I don't think it would be right to call this video drying corn uh, or something along those lines and not sell some corn. We want to see the money. Plus, if we leave some bales in the field, it means the next time we can make some money immediately and probably spend it immediately too. Because we're always looking to expand. Uh, we need to get some different machinery as well. I've not done anything with that grass field just up here. We still own it. Maybe we should sell it. I'm not too sure. One thing which I haven't done is forage harvesting. And I think it would be quite interesting to do that. It would be quite expensive, although we can rent the harvester. Because I, I currently rent the combine, so we could just sell... Oh, sorry, return that and then rent the harvester in its place. That would be fine. Because we get charged the daily fee at midnight. Which I've already paid for today. So we wouldn't be losing anything by returning the combine. We could also do forage harvesting in the other cornfield. We don't have to do drying of corn, although now we have the setup, I suppose it would seem a bit silly not to use it. That dryer wasn't particularly cheap. It needs to pay for itself. One of the bells in here is also the straw bale. That will be worth less. 81,000! Good grief, that is so amazing. That is an unbelievable price for some bales. Okay, so we have another 2,933 litres in here, which brings us to exactly 19,052%. And the price is still going up. I know it seems silly to sell it, but I want to... Uh, I do want to make some money from it today. Coastal exports. Same place. Yeah, so we've still got over half of the dryer. That can all be sold next time. We will sell 19,000 litres. And, well, as I just said, we still have another full field, another whole field of corn to harvest. So it's not like we're going to be running out. Even though this price is going to be very good, it's going to be very tough to beat the price that we've got for those bales. I know that Straw Me did recently have an update. I don't know if the price has been tweaked for some of these products, but I don't know. I'm not complaining. I think it's great. It's a good way of making money. But so is that. Dry corn. Tw uh, 32. Wow. 32254. Don't know why I sound surprised. It was supposed to be a good figure. Okay, so we are going to be wrapping this video up here. I'm just going to park that tractor there. We'll take the other one back to the field. And then next time we can begin by loading it up and selling a full load of corn bales. Chainsaw is approaching. I think he might be bringing his bales back as well. So check out his video. He's probably making loads if I made that from those bales, what is he making? I saw his field and he had loads of bales. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.